A new GPU from China has crazy features. Intel's new GPUs got benchmarked. And AMD's new CPUs are fine, I guess. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news that I could find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. <laughs> April Fools, oh, get out of here. God, this is, this is my operation. Okay, let's go over the real hot news, okay? We're talking about a high end or a medium end. We're gonna be talking about a GPU that's coming out of China. Are you okay? You Where'd you go? Did you crawl away? I'm so surprised. The GPU is coming out from China's More Threads MTT S60 GPUs. This is a company that we've actually been following for quite some time. They announced that they've been getting into the GPU game about 18 months ago and being one of the first domestically produced GPUs out of China. And I would like to say this is not April Fool's. I'm pretty sure I don't have any April Fool's articles in hot news today. So this is all like serious stuff. I I, I almost got bamboozled by the Razer Hyperverse, Hep, Hypersense Metaverse suit. They almost got me. I almost included it, but let's... <laughs> Let's take a look at the MTT S60 GPU, which supports a ton of crazy features, and it's based on the MUSA architecture. So this likely won't be rolling out to the Western world, but it does appear to be a big deal because the company's being led by a 15 year veteran in the GPU industry, somebody who used to be at Nvidia. And it does appear like they actually have a whole host of features on this GPU, which make it good. And then also good for gaming, which is OpenCL. CUDA, which is actually really intriguing because that's an NVIDIA specific feature, DirectX, Vulkan, and OpenGL. So those are all the APIs that you would expect it to support with the addition of CUDA, which is kind of strange, especially because that's like, that. again, that's just an NVIDIA specific feature. And so there's been other implementations of other GPUs supporting CUDA. Like there was the Zluda project that people were doing on Linux to get Intel GPUs to support CUDA. So having this support CUDA isn't like unfounded, but it's kind of neat, kind of cool and it's also going to support AV1 encoding which is again a new feature that we're starting to see being rolled out in the latest GPUs. They demoed the GPU by showing off and this is not April Fools that it can run League of Legends at 1080p which the recommended specs for that's a GTX 560. So there's not necessarily a ton about its gaming performance that we really know at this point. However, this is a company that's been in the running for a little bit that they've been saying that they're going to be coming out with a GPU. They are showing off a GPU and it does appear that there's at least some credence to that. More competition, even in the Eastern markets, will likely mean that there's better pricing and better availability of the things we want here in the Western market because Nvidia, AMD, and Intel will have to compete against these companies as well on that side. So we could potentially see good things being developed here. Let me know what you think of the More Threads GPU down below in the comments while I tell you about today's video sponsor, which is us in our brand new merch. Reese designed some new merch for us to launch here in Q2 2022. And we got things such as the UFD fan. We've We've got a UFD Vaporwave and a UFD Starter T-shirt, as you can see here. Oh, Kyler's wearing the UFD fan hoodie. You want to come show people? He's got the UFD fan hoodie. Look at that. It comes in shirts and hoodies, and we tried to make it as affordable as possible by also making sure that it's the highest quality that we probably can with a print-on-demand service. We used to use Teespring. Their quality went to crap and back, and now we're switching over to Bonfire. So if you can check it out, the link in the video description, we're going to have this merch available for a little bit, and then it's going to be gone forever. So check it out while you can at the link of the video description. Big thanks to you all for supporting us. And we're going to support Intel by looking at their numbers and being like, hey, that's not good. The ARC A350M GPU has appeared in a benchmark and it turns out that it uh, it might not be even able to beat a GTX 1050 Ti, which is a GPU that came out in 2017. This is only according to one single benchmark at this point with 3D Mark's Fire Strike and Time Spy, but it does appear like the 1050 Ti outperforms the A350M, which is the lowest end GPU that Intel is launching of their ARC Alchemist lineup. So not necessarily a good start, but that's not the whole lineup. That's just, again, the very basic lowest end version that they're launching, but it's not necessarily a good indication that it's not even competing with the GPU that came out half a decade ago. You know what else isn't competing? Crypto stonks, Bitcoin's down 3% on the day to be at $45,643. Ah, money's gone. Ethereum down 3.13% to be at 32.89 and Dogecoin down 3.3% to be at 13.8 cents. And price is going down on some hot tech deals that you can buy on the internet. Let's talk about UFD deals brought to you by Reese. We've got the Samsung S80 4K 27 inch HDR 10 monitor is going for $294 right now, which is a 26% discount. It's pretty, pretty decent price off. Amazon also has their Echo Buds wireless earbuds with ANC only going for $50 right now, which is a price drop of 58%. You save 70 bucks there. And in case you need a new webcam, the Razer Kio Pro streaming webcam is down to $99.99, which is $100 off from its normal price of $200, which doesn't seem worth it. Maybe $100 might be, I don't know. <laughs> 
but it's on sale at the very least. So in case you were looking for it, check out the UFD deals link in the video description. And we're gonna talk about another product that's launching, the GoPro Volta, which is a battery grip that you put on your GoPro because the GoPro has bad battery life. So the Volta, it gives it volts and makes it last longer. According to GoPro's numbers, the Volta grip delivers up to four hours of 5.3K recording at 30 FPS, whereas the GoPro by itself only delivers an hour of rolling footage. So that's like tripling your battery life, but in a 4,900 milliamp hour grip, which makes the GoPro better, I guess. Yes, but it, then it's not as compact and I mean it's kind of a trade-off in case you want that but in case you want a better battery life on your GoPro you could probably get that and in case you want better functionality on your Steam Deck for the 17 of you out there who has one including me who put a GPU on the Steam Deck you should totally check out the UFD tech video right up there but Valve's rolling out a new software update which gives some quality of life improvements to the Steam Deck a month after launch including a dual trackpad keyboard so that you can use the trackpad on either side to select the keyboard stuff that's on there and then adding a full size virtual keyboard to Linux desktop mode and then fixing the Wi-Fi that used to have issues and you can see the dual trackpad keyboard setup right here. This seems to make some intuitive sense, at least to me, so you can kind of double thumb what you're typing with the trackpads. I'm currently busy trying to get uh, SteamOS installed on an SD card on my Steam Deck and it has been an adventure and a half. It's taken me about two and a half days to figure out how to do it because it is, it is not intuitive and it's also not working and uh, that I just, I need to figure it out. So if you have any idea of how to install Steam OS on an SD card and load it onto a Steam Deck, let me know in the comments and I'll let you know about the Ryzen 5 5500, which is going to be a CPU that's coming out on April 20th. And we have new benchmarks from Geekbench that indicate that it's it's roughly equivalent to a Ryzen 5 5600G, especially in the single core and multi-core department, which is all of the core departments that a CPU would have. So that's that makes a whole lot of sense. The CPU does seem to be at least respectable. And I hope you still respect us even after we bamboozled you with that hefty April Fool's joke that we thought of at the last minute. And we thought, hey, wouldn't it be funny if Kyler tried to be Brett host today? And then it took him 45 minutes to not say all of the tech news out on the internet. Flashback. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're going to be going over all the hottest tech news that I could find on the internet. Not all. Not all. Try again. We're going to be going over all the hottest tech. No, no, all. That. We're gonna be going over all. No. We're gonna be going over all the hot. No. <laughs> yes. Oh, come on, man. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over all. No. God. <laughs> I cannot not you say can't. all. What is Keep wrong going. with Keep me? Going. April Fools. Good stuff. Proud of everybody. Go watch our video over on UFD Tech of April Fools. That one. That one is a bit more well thought out. See you tomorrow for This Week in News, where we go over the hottest tech news that happened the entire week.